Okay, I'm going to walk through this kind of fast. It's just I don't really want to spend a lot of time, but you remember this this video I did that had this character on the wall? This is from a show called The Office. Now, they set this purposely for the scene so that that guy could be seen. That is what would you would refer to as the Anunnaki. Those are supposed to be the guys that supposedly, according to legend, created us. I ain't buying it. Those guys are the fallen, the fallen angels, okay? I want you to notice particularly, see where the mouth is? You see how the mouth creates a cube? Watch this. And I keep seeing people do this, and it's been pissing me off for a long time. Okay, this is uh, the congresswoman that supposedly got shot. Well, it's, that's all bullshit. All of this is. Trust me. It's all fake. It's all phony. Look at the way her hands are. I see people on TV doing this all the time. I see it in Congress. I see it on speakers. I mean, you see this. Watch people when they're talking on TV. The people on the news will do it. The inside makes a, it makes a cube. You see it? And then as the, as the fingers go down... They they open up slots. You'll you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So what I've done here is I, I, it, the picture will get a little bit larger so you can see it, and then I outlined it so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll tell you where I believe that that's what what that's coming through. Now we know in the UN prayer room there's a big black cube, right? Just like our good friends that are fighting for our freedom, the 99 percent, the black block group. Get the flying fuck out of here. The black block group. And I was watching one of those guys today on TV. He goes, the reason we wear black is because we're unity. No, the reason you wear black, you motherfucker, is because you're part of a Saturnistic uh, entity that's been trying to cre create a one, world, a one world order, a new world order. I'm tired of this. So when we look at the picture here, look. You see, I outlined it in red. So you got this, this. If you could see underneath it, it would continue to go down. And you, you would have multiple slots. Where's that coming from? I'm going to show you here. Remember the painting of the guy? If you turn him upside down, you get the cube and you get the exact same. If you could see her fingers, you'll get the exact same design. And I'm pretty sure where that's where that's coming from. Because those things are the Anunnaki. That's what's on the back of the dollar bill, the Anunnaki. That's what the Phoenicians either were or were in direct contact with. Absolutely 100%. So let's move, let's move on to the next item. This is a picture of, of a Phoenician uh, trade boat. You notice it has people on there that are armed. The Phoenicians basically went around and beat people into subject to accept their money. Uh, they were basically the first version of the, what you would call the Vikings. These guys came out of North Africa. They were white. They are not black. Uh, the black people are not the, from are, are not uh, evil entities. These guys were white. They came out of North Africa, um, and they set up trade routes going all the way up into Ireland. Okay, there's some other weird stuff that's attached with this, but let's just keep it basic for right now. So here, people always call this 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 is the Masonic check. It's not. It's Phoenician. That's where the Hebrews got it, and then the Masons got it from the Jews. When you look at this black and white, it isn't black and white. It's a cube. So you see the dark side? You see the dark side right here? And then you see that one side's got light? It's because you're looking at a three-dimensional cube, not a black square and a white square. It's one cube. But the light is hitting the side that's white, and so you're getting the shadow side. So it's a, it's a cube. Um, if we look at the mast... The supports above their heads, you got a triangle going up and you have a triangle going down. If we take that top brace across, what do you have? You have the seal of Saturn. Okay? These guys were the first Saturn worshippers. They called Saturn Yahoo. Later on it got changed to Yahweh, the Hebrew version. If we look at the bottom of the boat, you see that how it whips around that curve, that whole big piece? Well that's incidentally, that's pretty much the same symbol that Nike uses. Um, so that's where that comes from. Now let's move on to the next bit here. Uh, one second. Okay, you see here, this cat, this, this was uh, found. It's one of the rare Phoenician artifacts. 
Notice the cat is in black and white. You can see the seal of Saturn, the etching going all around it. If we look on the top and the bottom, the two circles, you'll notice that there are black and white triangles and some of them make pyramids. Then you'll see you'll see the symbol, the zigzag. You'll see the zigzag. Um, so this is where your black and white come from. People in the UK, you know your police have it all over their, all over their stuff, the black and white uh, Masonic check, but it's not Masonic. It's Phoenician. They adopted it through the Jews. Okay? Uh, let's move on to the next part. I'm sorry I can't be more detailed. I could, but this stuff takes hours. Okay. Here we see, uh, it says, welcome to the next level, Phoenicians. Right? Notice the red and blue cube, the two colors that are associated with time and space. In the back, we have the seal of Saturn etching on the window. Here we have this guy. What's his name? King Hiram. King Hiram is in the Bible, but he, he, he was hired by Solomon to build the temple because the Phoenicians were experts at woodworking, especially cedar. Why is cedar important? Because cedar is an antenna. It's, it's an amplifier, and it's natural, but it has to be tuned. It has to be tuned like any other antenna. So very, very uh, interesting on the occultic level and on a scientific le level. So notice we have the, the black, or I mean the uh, blue and red cube. Now this guy's called King Hiram here, but in the Masonic, and this is what ties the Masons to the Bible, this guy's name was Hiram Abiff. Go look it up. Go look at the Masonic Hiram Abiff. Same guy. He was a master builder. Uh, so <clears throat> you have Hiram Abiff, just like the guy's name in Back to the Future, named Biff. Remember? So just keep in mind that this guy here is what ties the Masons to the Bible. So people say, oh, there's no nothing Masonic in the Bible. Hiram Abiff and King Hiram, same guy. So let's let's look at this cube again. It's blue and it's red. And where else have we seen that? Okay, this is the Fox logo for you people in the UK. The guy that owns it is Rupert Murdoch, same guy that owns, owns Sky uh, Sky News. But notice it's a it's a red and a blue cube. Okay, and I'm going to show you why that's why that new name Fox is important. But it's a, it's a red and a blue cube. You can see it, number channel four, four sides of cube. Here we look here in Kabbalah. They believe the Jewish uh, tradition of Kabbalah teaches that your name, the way it's spelled out in the sums or whatever, will add up to what your life is by what your name is. Um, but if we look, every letter has a number associated with it. So if we go to the, to the number six and go all the way down, what do we have? We have Fox, the same as the news organization. And what do we have? We have 6, 6, and 6. So if we add those three together, 6, 6, and 6, what do we have? We have 18, right? And if we add 1 and 8, what do we have? Well, we have 9. And what is 9? Well, see, that creates that thing, the planet Saturn. So you see how all this is tied together? So I'm going to go right and jump right over here. This is the Phoenician money. Let's take a look at that. You see it? It's two squares. All I did is I outlined one's red, one's blue. But notice the circle, which represents Saturn, and up here you have the moon. If you've ever studied any anything to do with Judaism, you'll find out that they worship two things, the moon and Saturn. Both of those are timekeeping uh, instruments. Uh, the moon is like the second hand because it, it deals with our world specifically. Saturn is like the hour hand because he's father time because he goes around the whole the whole creation or at least what they call the creation. So I can say more about this later, but for now, that's it.